I believe that we are all fearful and wonderfully made, and we are all unique, and we're all, you know, we're all just special. The Serenity Project is something that I've I think I've always wanted to start. Uh, I think for most of my life, I was always kind of confused on where I fit in or whether or not I belonged. Um, and as soon as I got that clarity after I was in pageantry and I got that sisterhood and I got that platform to be able to speak out and to voice my passions and my causes and whatever was important to me, I said, most girls don't get this opportunity. I've been put and I've been blessed to be in a situation and to have a sash across me that represents more than just me. And I said, what would happen if I tried to give this opportunity to more than one girl? Megan is going to come out, and she's going to walk, and she's going to strut, and she's going to look confident and happy. She's going to pose, and the audience is going to go, ooh, ah. Uh. If you don't want to do anything, don't do anything. So you guys do what you're comfortable with, OK? There's a lot of models that smile. There's a lot of models that don't. You do what you're comfortable with, OK? OK. What's up, girl? I think it means a lot to me for that people have like been abused and been like overweight, and they they have pageant in their selves that they can do this. And I don't. And I tell the girls, don't be nervous. You got it. If you mess up like one of your 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 uh, moves, your models or whatever, just keep going. No one's gonna know that you messed up. No, like the crowd's not gonna know. Good. Do you like it? Yeah. Doesn't she look amazing? Um, she has taught us uncommon wisdom. Um, she is now four or five years out of high school in the transitions program. She works at Chick fil A and is more independent in ways that we never might have expected when she was very young. Academically, she's second grade, and socially, she's middle school. So it's kind of like which Kaylee are you, you know, <laughs> you getting? And with all of this stuff, she she eats it up. She's yes. loved dance and cheer since I can't remember. So she pose, give them good luck, get some good photos, and then I want you to just watch me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm Savannah, as I said before, you can all call me Savvy, which is my nickname. Um, and this is Leia, which I didn't note before. She's my service dog. Um, I think everyone should be looked at and seen equally. I want, no matter what you are, no matter what your abilities, um, I personally don't think anyone has a disability, per se. Um, we're all uniquely abled in our own way. And, it shows something different, and whether you're a different weight, you're whatever that may be. It doesn't matter, you are big, you are beautiful, you are small, you are beautiful, it doesn't matter. You are who you are, and that's who you're meant to be. Mostly I wanted to give it to girls that wouldn't have this opportunity otherwise. And in our society, we seem to look down on people with special needs, we seem to look down on people, um, and we don't really appreciate people that have gone through foster care or abuse or suffered through and persevered through really hard traumas. And I said, these girls need to be recognized, they need to be celebrated, they need to be loved on. I am Noreen Singh, and I am honored to welcome you to the very first annual Serenity Runway Show, celebrating models who have persevered through some of life's most difficult challenges. So thinking about it, I was just kind of like really insecure and I was just like, I don't think I'm pretty enough. I don't think I have the skills to do it. Like what if I look like an idiot and like all this kind of stuff. I feel amazing. I think that what I'm wearing is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so excited for everyone else to see it. So. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing good. I'm kind of not nervous for the like the walk or anything. I'm nervous for my 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 talent I'm doing tonight. So okay. Yes. How are you gonna get through that? I'm gonna get through it really well because tomorrow I got my dance show. So. Right, so you're ready. I am ready. Okay. I'm a I'm, I'm 17 years old and I'm a junior in high school and I was born. 
working on the surviving twin, and I've had a total of 17 surgeries. If all of us can just remember one important piece today, that all of these girls are all of our sisters, they're all of our daughters, they're all of our best friends. We are not here to support one girl or two girls, we're here to support 15 girls who are strong, exemplary role models for each of us, no matter what age we might be. So please give them your relentless love and remind them today that there is nothing they are incapable of doing. And they can strut themselves and they can remind the whole world that beauty does not come with one story. I was incredibly nervous, but like once you step on that stage, like it's go time. like surge and self-confidence. Um, I didn't think that would be the case, but it was pretty much like I stepped off the catwalk and I felt amazing about myself. And I was just like, I am a beautiful person and I, no one else can refute that. And like, as long as I believe that, that's definitely true. What we did is after the Serenity Project, we asked all of the 15 models to send us a quick, brief um, summary of how they felt, a reflection of their experience, what we can do to improve, everything like that. Even up until the show, I was so uneasy, but once I did the show, I can tell you that I've never felt more empowered in my life. To watch Autumn walk down the stage and strut her stuff like it was second nature to her, to watch little Lexi, so shy and unsure, walk down and pose and serve face, and to watch Aubrey, my peer and just as awkward as me, kill it on the runway. I knew during that show, we were all blossoming. By the end of the night, we were so excited and comfortable and thriving in our environment. We were dolled up and feeling great. Our families were there, we looked amazing, and on June 2nd, I finally felt truly beautiful for once in my life.